And uh, let's jump right into NBC, Um, Blazer NBC, NBC for Blazer. And I want to talk about why I care. Um, Way back 13 years, maybe more than that, 2008, 2009, uh, actually in 2007, Microsoft created the uh, the first kind of concept of ASP.NET NBC uh, when all web applications were kind of page-based applications and sprinkle in some jQuery, a little bit of JavaScript before before we, uh, the industry kind of moved to more rich applications in the browser. And, um, and so I wrote a series of books, uh, actually three different editions of this book, ASP.NET NBC in Action. And back then I was, and I still am, uh, really concerned about what what I've seen with so many teams, and I've been working with development teams for so long that um, I see things that happen over and over again. And one of the things that happens over and over again is that the user interface of applications gets to be just a big jumbled mess. And the there's there's logic, there's code to make things look proper, and then there's code for a screen to have a certain behavior. And when those two different types of code are in the same source file, it just leads to a big jumbled mess. And the MVC pattern, model view controller pattern, is not new. It goes back to the 70s. It's traversed a number of languages and frameworks and computing paradigms. So it's not a new idea. Um, but uh, I've seen that a lot of people don't know how to apply it to the current platform and your current uh, your current application. So I wrote this book way back then because I was really excited that Microsoft was making that a first class pattern kind of right out of the box with the file, new project templates. And, uh, and, and that's, I've, I've cared, you know, ever since. Um, and I've done tons of speaking on the topic in a lot of forms of fashion, but with Blazor becoming kind of the new uh, super popular uh, application type, uh, this is relevant once more because the out of the box pattern puts controlling logic or, or screen behavior, could, puts that kind of code into the same source file as code that makes the screen look a certain way. And you can use code behind or whatnot, but it ends up being in the same object, which is running at runtime. And that makes a difference as well. So um, way back uh, when NBC was coming out, I was uh, one of the co-founders along with Eric Hexter on the NBC Contrib project that uh, added on a whole bunch of functionality onto ASP and NBC. And, and that was fun. Um, and, and so uh, just earlier this past year, I, uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to launch a new open source project called Blazor NBC. So you can find that on nougat.org in Visual Studio. You can go to manage packages and you can pull up Blazor NBC and, uh, and, and take a look at it. It's available right here. Um, and of course, it's uh it's it's newer i mean it's it's what just half a year old maybe seven months eight months and so um you can pull it down anything that uses dotnet standard 2.1 so dotnet 5 dotnet 6 there's there's uh there's lots of samples and i'll i'll do a demo um but uh you can check that out on nuga.org um so let's dive into this concept and why why we need it and then what it looks like um so mvc stands for model view controller and in this pattern, um, we are uh, the, the the canonical definition right here on the screen. I don't need to read it to you, but I will. Um, it, it, the uh, user input, the modeling of the external world, and the visual feedback to the user are explicitly separated and handled by three types of object, not just code file, but, but objects, each specialized for its task. The view manages the graphical um, output to the portion of the display that's allocated to its application. And again, this is the old definition, okay? So it's not like the pattern has to change. The controller interprets the mouse and keyboard. The, the controller interprets the input from the user and then commands the model or the view to change as appropriate. So the controller's in charge. And finally, the model manages the behavior of the data of the application domain, responds to requests for information about its state, and responds to instructions to change its state. So the model, um, you, you, sometimes you think of the model as, oh, the rest from the user, from the user interface, the model is the rest of the application. But if you have if you have a domain model properly factored, then you have aggregate routes that you're interacting with, and then you're just 
kind of sending the aggregate routes to domain services for persistence to save to a database, to get from a database, things like that. 